All right, hello everyone. So uh, we have a plan. We're going to be um, uh, picking up the healer here. And do her chapter one. Once that is done, we're gonna be tossing some gear on her, and then we're gonna jump over here. Uh, pick the dancer up and then uh, do her chapter one toss some gear on her and then we're gonna do uh, some leveling we have 653,000 that should be enough to boost uh, both of them to uh, 80 I mean to 70 it shouldn't be that hard So no time to waste, uh, let's get to it because it's going to take a few hours to get all of this done. If time allows it, uh, we will uh, start one of their stories. If on both. Nutrient deficiency. Too long on the open seas, I take it. I also see symptoms of severe dehydration. Apothecary. <laughs> Everything's going dim. Please, heal me. Easy now. It'll be all right. Healthy, nutrient-rich food is what he needs most right now. If only I had some fruit. Ah, oh, grapes! Thank you. This is just what I was looking for. Hey, you're welcome. Here, eat this. Thanks. Uh, I feel much better now. Remember to maintain a balanced diet. That'll help keep you healthy. Take care. I appreciate the help. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. Are you a traveler as well? Uh, sort of. I have lost my memories, and I'm searching for clues to who I once was. If you wouldn't mind sharing the road with me, may I join you on your travels? Thank you. Uh, yes. You have the power to save lives more than any other. That's why you have to live. Where are we? If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Over there! There's someone on that skiff! ship 
finally come to, have you? Feeling better yet? You've got the luck of the tides, you know. <sighs> Why can't I stand? My throat... <laughs> too dry. Easy now, lass. You've had a rough time of it. Drink up. It's just whiskey. Thank you for saving me. Couldn't well leave you to the fishes. How'd you end up on that little skiff, anyhow? Skiff? I don't know. I can't remember. Come on now. This isn't the time for jokes. I'm sorry, but I really can't remember anything. Who I am, where I came from, it's all a blink. Hmm. I know one thing about you, lass. Your name, it's Casti. Oh, how do you know? Casti. How... How did you know that? It's stitched onto your outfit. What's that uniform of yours anyway? Ah, right. Amnesia. Strange to think a person could forget their own name. I have to remember. First things first. I need information. Somewhere to start. It will be difficult to learn who I am. Nevertheless, the crew of the ship should know more about the circumstances of my rescue. I should inquire about that, and the ship while I'm at it. Uh, let's see. During the day, Cassie can, in can inquire and learn all sorts of information from the townspeople. A uh, soldier. Does he feel Cassie's appearance is an ill omen? Thank you. Hmm. Uh, he will hand his resignation at the moment he returns to the harborlands. Thank you. Nothing related to us. Uh, happens by Cassie's skiff while avoiding his work. Thank you. Hmm. I think that's about all I need for now. Based on the predominant currents in this region of the ocean, it's likely my skiff sets sail from somewhere on the continent to the east. From my exhaustion and the severity of my dehydration, it's fair to estimate that I was adrift for several days. Hold on. How do I know all of this? See? Not much point in wondering. I should instead thank my lucky stars that I was rescued. Now, to go over what else I learned. This passenger ship embarked from the Brightlands several days ago. Its destination is a large port town called Canelbrine. Perhaps there's someone there who can shed a light on who I am. Ah, yes. These kind sailors brought my possessions to the passenger's cabin. Maybe they can offer some material clues as to my identity. I should sort through them before we make landfall. Seems like a plan. Hmm. The satchel. I recognize it. It's mine. 
It seems rather hastily stuffed. I must have been in quite the hurry. Medicinal herbs. A mortar and pestle. For preparing salves and the like, no doubt. Well, well. It seems I am, I was, an apothecary. Hmm? What's this? A white flower? Why would I have something like this? Yet another mystery. Land ho! All hands on deck! And so we arrive. You sure you'll be all right, lass? Hard to get by without memories. I've remembered a little. Enough. I was an apothecary. I appreciate your concern, but no need to fret about me. I'll remember the rest in time. That's so, all. Know the seas, and you'll know thyself. An old sea dog taught me that proverb. May the wind and the waves always find you well, Casti. Thank you, Captain. For everything. The cat stole a fish. So what are we going to do here? What a bustling little town. Hey, get a load of her. Huh? She's one of them, isn't she? Yeah, no mistaking it. to be causing quite a stir. Oh well. First things first, I need to find clues as to who I may be. I should speak to the people of this town. I might glean some knowledge about my past. Okay, look around town. That's easy. Can do a save as well. Seems I've been given the cold shoulder. In that case, I'll just have to try my luck with someone else. Excuse me, are you all right? What's going on here? Is something wrong with him? He's burning up. We need to get him inside. Looks like sun fever. He's covered in rashes. Rash. Vomiting. It could be the onset of some sort of strange poison. I should have the herbs to treat this. Hold on for just a moment. Uh, Suid. At night, Cassie can administer medicine to townspeople and soothe their pain, allowing them to rest. We must have the right items to soothe someone. There you go. 
Step one, lower the fever. Luckily, we caught this sickness in its early stages. Dash of lycanth seed mixed with some of these herbs should do the trick. Good. I still remember my craft, at least. <laughs> there, there. Drink up. Slowly now. That's a good boy. Phew. The fever's receding. He's sleeping peacefully now. Your work was flawless from diagnosis to treatment. The very model of an apothecary. Thank you, miss... Uh... Malaya. I'm a traveling apothecary. Hmm. Thank you, Malaya. My name's Casti. Sorry to say, I don't remember much else. I was an apothecary, but what kind I cannot say. I've... come down with a bad case of amnesia. What? Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? It seems my hands still remember their craft. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. Who are you? Wait. That blue uniform. It can't be. Hmm? Get back! Don't you dare touch my brother! What? Senna! Did she hurt you? How'd you sneak in here? What'd you do to him? Calm down. She's an apothecary. She treated your brother for his ills. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries. Heirs apothecaries? What? That blue uniform. That sigil. There's no mistaking it. The whole town's in an uproar about you, witch. Word is, one of you pestilence mongers have been lurking about. Pestilence monger? I don't understand. And I don't care. Out! Out! Let's go, Casty. Hmm. Who are these heirs apothecaries? I've heard the name before. You have? What sort of people are they? Why was that man so hostile to me? Mm. Ah, what's wrong with me? We have far more pressing business than my lost history. I fear Senna's illness is only the beginning. If I can't identify the root of this sickness, it could engulf the whole town. There's no time to waste. You're going to help them, even after how you've been treated? Would your time not be better spent treating your own woes? Saving these people comes first. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. <sighs> the very model of an apothecary indeed. Very well. You have my aid. Let's split up and find the source of this sickness. Very well. Malaya, thank you. One of those heirs apothecaries, aren't you? We won't let you fool us. I'm sorry, but would you mind telling me about these apothecaries? I'm unfamiliar with them. Don't play dumb. Everyone knows what that little band of apothecaries have been up to on the Eastern Continent. 
They travel around charging only a pittance for services. But it's all a sham. Their medicine is poison, and they've killed more than they've helped. I even heard they butchered an entire town not long ago. What? <sighs> I don't know what dark purpose drives them, and I don't care. Word is, one of them just showed up in town, and you're the only strange apothecary around here, so... You... may be right. The truth is, I don't know if I am what you think I am. I remember little of my past. A likely story! We're on to you! With you. Come on, fight them. Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now, all I want is to help the people of this town. I'm looking for clues as to what is causing the people here to grow sick. Please, if you know anything, tell me. Marlo, what's wrong? Stop! Get away from him! What's the big idea? He needs help. Or do you want me to leave him there to die? I said step away. He may be contagious. C contagious I knew it. The symptoms are the same. I need to ease his fever, and quickly. I'll carry him. All of you stay here. There. He should make it now. Where did he go? She... she healed Marlo. Just who are you, really? Help! People are fainting from some sort of strange fever. What in the world's going on? Damn! And of course this happens while our healers are away. Let me treat them. Uh, Soothe, there's one down here. Shit, uh, sorry kid, uh, I'm not sure if your mother will make it. Here, medicine. Thank you. I feel a little better now. Good night. Here, medicine. My fever's broken, thanks to you. You have my gratitude. Good night. Here, medicine. Thanks for saving me, miss. There. I've done what I can for now. The sickness is spreading fast. We need to find its source or there won't be anyone standing before long. Oh, uh, another town comes here. Are they... are they better? We're out of the woods for now. But it's too early to breathe easy. I, uh... I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have said what I did. Senna gave me a tongue lashing about it, too. He said you saved his life. I know I've got no right to ask this after how I treated you. But please, save our town. Save my friends. I intend to, 
But I need your aid first. Help me locate the source of this contagion. Huh. Well, I don't know if this will help, but... Earlier today, Senna said the water tasted funny. Hey, Ma said the same thing to me this morning. Really? I boiled some water this morning and didn't notice anything strange. The water? Of course! Maybe those who contracted this illness all drank the water without boiling it first. If that's true, then that must be the source. A fine deduction, Casty. I agree. We draw our water from a spring that flows out of a cavern south of town. Then my course is clear. I must hurry to this cavern and cleanse the spring before the sickness spreads further. We're coming too. No need. This is our town. It's our job to protect it. I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I must insist that you stay. Cleansing noxious substances is dangerous work. Stay here and see to your sick. Well, all right. Take care of yourself, Apothecary. Malaya, could you remain here to treat these people? You have a habit of putting others above yourself, don't you? Fine, just come back in one piece, Casty. <laughs> I'll try. The world needs more apothecaries like you, Malaya. I'm setting out for the cave to the south. I'll be back soon. Uh, have we been to that cave? I cannot remember. Uh, no, we haven't. You are the poison that must be my turn. Huh. What to do? What to do? My turn. This'll cool you. I'm terribly sorry. Here I go. Huh. Forgive me. Life is too precious to risk. What to do? What to do? This'll cool you now. My turn. You're a These I know no cure for evil. Uh, do I reach that from here, maybe? Must here I go. Cassie can concoct po uh, potions and substances from various ingredients during battle. I require this. 
Well now. No mercy. I know no cure for evil. Forgive me. You are a poison that must be. Here I go. Well now. This'll cool you. I'm terribly sorry. My, no mercy. My journey will not end here. Okay, let's go inside. See what's causing the water to poison. These bars are broken. Something must have forced its way in here. The wellspring is just a little further. I'll need to approach it with caution. Precious to rest. Well now. My kill. Well now. Forgive me. Must be purged. My turn. Yes. What to do? What to do? This'll cool you now. No mercy. Ah. My journey will not end here. I need about one fight more, so. My next patient? Well now. Forgive me. I know no cure for evil. Uh, axe attack. That's AOE too. That's a poison, which is pretty good. This foul smell.
It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all illness. Now then, what is it that's made all this mess? Foul vapors abound. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. I think I found the source. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all who drink it. I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Time to clean up this mess. Quiet down. My turn. Uh, let's try this. Poison slap. Ah, there. I am unwell. Uh. Here I go. Uh. Uh. What to do? Curses. Hold it together. This quickly. What to do? What? Ah! I am unwell. Hold it together. This will cool you. This will. Uh, once the gauge is full, you can unleash cast his latent power. You can concoct without using up any materials. A helping hand. I'll purge this infection. No mercy, only pain. I have a 
talent for making do. I'll purge this infection. This was a It had to be done. My journey will not end. Don't think badly of me. That takes care of the root of this illness. Yeah, but now we need to cure it. All that's left is to sprinkle pure bomb leaves around. Liberally. With time, the corruption here should fade. There. A dash or two of pure bomb for myself, too. I won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Now, back to town to relay the good news. cleared the source of the infection polluting your waters. The spring will run clean again in time. Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all your water for a good while yet. Thank you. Thank you. You're Senna's brother, yes? How is he? Back on his feet, and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? <laughs> Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. Although, I do have one request. Anything. Just name it, Casty. May I borrow your bath? I was wondering where she went. I'm glad our paths crossed. But it's time for me to move on. The open road is called. Malaya, may I ask what it is that compels you to travel? <sighs> I'm searching for a way to cure a terrible disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure, and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Is there anything I can do to assist you? No. This is my problem. My burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. Your memory, for one. I need to know who their apothecaries are. And who I am as well. I can't rest until I know. Malaya, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to know something about them. Mm. Please, Malaya, I need to know. Tell me, I'm begging you. I go on. Uh, an apothecary I met in Canelbrine. She is on a journey in search of the recipes for various medical compounds. She seems to know of her apothecaries, but we will say nothing about them. Oh. Casty. 
she knew. She knows us. You have the power to save lives more than any other. That's why you have to live. She was the one who did that. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Turns, Casty. One day. Farewell. <sighs> Wait. And that woman in my vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What's going on? Malaya. She's already gone. What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... She's gone. Malaya. It was Malaya who put me aboard that skiff. But why? Who or what were we running from? If only I could remember. I need more clues. Something else to go on. Hidden pocket in the bottom of my satchel? A book. Hmm. Treatment log. In my hands, I held a diary. One I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patients seen. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Psy and Winter Bloom, more notable by far. It's covered with blood. Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. What in the world is the story here? It's time I went on my own journey. This journal is the only clue I have. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. And that's or chapter one, I believe. And so Cassie leaves the poor town. Why had she been set adrift on the open seas? What link does she have with the heirs of Apothecaries? And who is the mysterious healer, Malaya? In order to reclaim her lost memories, Cassie set out on a journey. I'll patch you right up. I'm sure you won't regret having me around. 
You choose the road for now, and I'll follow. Okay, we're gonna get rid of shit. Is this still locked? That's weird. She is now decently geared and uh, we need to go down to Sai and Winterbloom but first we're gonna be heading up here they save and uh, we're gonna be starting this in just a moment I just need to fix my nose so be back Let's see if it's better now. Purse of Hope. Ah, there it is. That's my purse. I thought I lost it. Thank you so much for finding it. Well, you just brought it with me. Ugh, you can be so careless sometimes, Agni. Say, you're a traveler, aren't you? Think you could take my sister with you? But what? She may act like a right fool sometimes, but she can do anything she sets her mind to. It'll put my mind at ease knowing she's not alone out there. So thank you kindly. Damn, that girl just handed over her sister like cattle. Well, now. My name's Agnia. I'm a dancer on a journey to become a star. And, um, now that I think about it, I never got to thank you for earlier. This must be fate. Would it be alright for me to join your travels? Thank you so much! Let's go for it. Stars. Stars are a symbol of hope. They bring smiles to people's faces.
That was incredible, Agnea! Encore! Encore! Thank you, everyone! But the fun's just getting started. I'm going to dance the night away! Oh, no! Agnea, you all right? I'm fine. I'm tougher than I look. I'm gonna be a star after all. Oh, <laughs> that's right. To think our village is home to a future star. We're all rooting for you, kid. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Why don't we call it a night? I doubt you'll be doing much more dancing after that. Uh, I can keep going. Agnea's saving for her journey to stardom. She's been working hard in this little tavern to earn whatever coin she can. I take it everyone here's prepared their tips for our dear dancer? Sure have. It's all yours, Agnea. You're the best, Agnea. Let's toast to our future star! You're all too kind. Now go on, Agnea. Those tips won't collect themselves. At night, uh, Agnea can entreat townspeople for their belongings. Entreat, okay. Isn't this a little too much? I can't explain it, but whenever I see you dance, I feel lighter than air the next day. So I'm more than happy to give you what I can. <laughs> Thank you. Your dancing was as beautiful as always, Agnea. I'm looking forward to your next show. I think I'll bring my friends next time. Really? <laughs> I can't wait to see you then. Thank you so much, everyone! It's us who should be thanking you, Agnea. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Now to clean this place up. Oh, don't worry about that. You must be exhausted. I'm fine. Besides, this won't take long. Thanks for staying to clean up. It's the least I can do after you let me dance in your stage. Say. Agnea, did you manage to get all the leaves you need? <laughs> Almost. Just 1,000 more to go. Then I'll finally have the 10,000 leaves I need. Hmm. Ever since we were little, you've been saying that you'd save up and leave the village to become a star. That's right. What's this? Oh no, he's giving us 1,000. It's exactly 1,000 leaves for you. Uh, but but uh, why are you giving me so much? <laughs> Seems I shocked the fancy accent right out of you. Oh! I know you've been working hard to talk like city folk for when you make it big. You're really something, Agnea. You never gave up on your dream. Consider it my tip. It's my way of cheering you on. Thank you, Gus. <laughs> you 
You finally did it. Tomorrow's festival will be my last chance to see you dance. You don't want to miss it. It'll be my best one yet. I'm already looking forward to it. It's dark out. Get home safe, Agnea. Well, at least the story is not as depressing as um, uh, Primrose's story in the first game. That's uh, one of the worst ones I've ever done. That, that was horrible. <laughs> that was really, like, I don't know, horrible. I'm home! Oh, welcome home, Agni. You were working late tonight again. Sorry, I'll cook dinner right away. <laughs> I finally have enough money. Really? So that means... promise you said I could go on my journey if I made 10,000 leaves with my dancing mm. well I did it so I'm going on my journey just like you promised I could you won't like that then go I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces just like Mama. Are you prepared for what that means? I am. Mama was a star. She wrote her own songs and traveled the land, singing and dancing. Papa was a tailor. They met when he was making Mama's dresses. Mama wore them as she sang her heart out for the world to hear. Of course, Paula and I went everywhere with her. But those happy days were short-lived. Mama was so focused on making people smile that she never noticed how ill she was until it was too late. After some time, Mama went on one final journey, and this time to a place we couldn't follow. Ever since then, Papa's opposed my dream. I dream of following in Mama's footsteps. <sighs> Mama. A star like you, Mama. <laughs> you get back up no matter how many times you fall. The moon step is a difficult dance. But you can do whatever you set your mind to. Agnia, I want you to have this hairpin.
wear it and you'll feel like you can dance the night away. It's my lucky charm. Wow. Thanks, Mama. Stars are a symbol of hope. They put smiles on people's faces. I know you can do it, Agnia. Someday, you'll be a star. I will, Mama. Sun's up. Time to rise and shine. Nothing's well, gonna damn. stop me today. What are you doing? Wake up, Paula. What? What in tarnation? What's the matter, Agni? It's morning. Breakfast time. It'll go cold if you wait too long. Now get out of bed. Morning already, huh? So, this is the last time I'll be eating your cooking for a while. I sure am gonna miss getting tasty meals handed to me. From tomorrow on, it'll be your turn. Hmm, I think I'm finally starting to see how amazing you are, Agni. Better late than never, I suppose. So, what are you doing today? Helping out with the festival? I'm going into the woods to gather raspberries. We'll need as many as we can get for the town's famous raspberry pies. I'll be helping Gus and the others with the heavy lifting. You'd get more work done than a half dozen men. Rounding them up is more the problem. <laughs> I can't imagine rounding them up will be a problem with your talents. My talents? You are a dancer after all. I'm sure men and women alike would gather around if you put on a little show. P paula just listen to what you're saying. Yeah, just listen to yourself. I'd look like a right fool if I used my dancer for something like that. Oh, Agni, you can be so naive. Talents like yours are made to be flaunted. Thanks for breakfast, Agni. I didn't even eat anything. Wait up! Paula! Talents, huh? In any case, I gotta make my way over to the festival. So this way, forest path. having a good time. Now for the final preparations. Agnia, today this stage will be all yours. It's wonderful. I can't wait to start the show. Speaking of which, we have a couple more big pieces to add. Would you mind finding me a few helping hands? Leave it to me. A lure, yeah. Uh, a lure tells people into following her. Yep.
sure round him up quick. Keep up the good work. Will do. I'll see who else I can wrestle up. I see a chest. Appreciate the help, Agnia. <laughs> Happy to be of service. <laughs> Seems like none of them have an ear for what I have to say. Asking you was the right choice. <laughs> Agnia! That's Gus. Hey, Gus. Gus, is something the matter? Have you seen Paula? She went raspberry picking in the woods, but she ain't come back yet. Oh no. What? And that's not even the worst of it. In the forest, I found a door door's hoof prints. Do you remember? That giant boar ravaged a whole village some years ago. It took the whole lot of us to drive him away. Might have caught the scent of the festival foods and scurried over, but. Uh, I have to find her. You can't be serious. So, what else are we gonna do? Will you come with me, Gus? Uh, of course, I will. You can count on me, Agnia. Thank you, Gus. But I sure would feel better if we had more company. Then I guess it's time to put my talents to use. Talents? How so? Uh, some of the deciding battle, yeah. We will do just fine. I have faith in us. Do I have to? Now then. It's my turn now. Time? I wasn't expecting that. Five. But I want to grab that chest first. Ow! <laughs> now then. Forgive me. Do I have to get him? Do I have to hook uh, him? It's a... Do I own my honor and another? You all right, Agnia? Begin. 
do I have to... <laughs> All right. <laughs> I should have expected as much. Uh, leave the job to me. A tavern keep's got to be strong. Should have exploded. Leave the shopping to me. Time to shine. Play him then. On my honor as a tech. Leave the shopping to me. You all right, Agni? Now, where could you be in here? I have to <laughs> now then yeah. all right <laughs> <laughs> I should leave the job to me a tavern keeps gotta be strong how do we reach that Up there. Let's go begin. Time to shine. Yeah. Uh, do I have to leave the job into me? Huh? Leave the job into me. Yeah. All right. Won't want to die. Bye bye. Do I have to huh? leave the job into me? You all right, Agni? Here I come! All right! Do a Now then! <laughs> Now we should level up. That. Okay, we didn't level up, damn it. And no more fights. Too happy. 